Red Hellmarines again, and today we have another very cool flea market find for you guys. So let's head over to the table and check out what we got. Alright guys, check this out. This is a Savage Arms Springfield Model 67 Series C. That is actually a very long name, but I absolutely love this gun. I have always wanted a pump 20 gauge. Actually, last year for my 11th birthday, I wanted a pump 20 gauge. I mean, I got a 12 gauge AK shotgun, which is kind of better to be honest, because I love I love both of those, 12 gauge and AK. But we found this thing at the flea market, and it is absolutely amazing. And the the look the pump on this thing is so smooth. Hold on, let me push the release button. It'll actually fall. It is crazy. Look at that. It's crazy how smooth and worn in this thing is. Well, I am actually very excited to shoot this thing, so let's get loaded up and get to shooting. All right, this thing is very worn out. So we learned that we have to have the elevator catch the back of the shell just so it doesn't jam up or anything because this thing this was probably someone's only gun, and they shot it a lot. Yeah. I mean, you saw how the pump just fell when I pushed the release button. That was, that's crazy. <laughs> also, you'll see when I'm pushing the pump forward, it'll jam up a little bit, so I'll have to jiggle it and then push it back forward. It does work, it just jams up a little bit right there. But, I shot this thing off camera, and it is amazing. I love it so much. But, yeah, alright, let's blast the steel a little bit. Ready? Ready. Oh, yeah. Ooh. We didn't have a little jiggle jam there. Yeah. It just went right forward. Cool. There we go. Yeah. This thing is a lot of fun. I absolutely, I got to shoot it some more. Also, as you saw, it does only hold three, two in the tube, and one in the chamber. But still, I don't care how many it holds. This thing is fun. This gun is actually really cool because it is the first pump shotgun that I have ever been able to shoot and cycle because I have always been like too small or too weak to be able to cycle them. But this gun is just so smooth and it is amazing. We have a Mossberg 590A1 and I I love that gun, just looking at it and holding it. But I cannot, I cannot work it, I am too small. But this gun, it is the perfect size and we actually did our own kitchen gunsmithing to the stock here, we took an inch and a quarter off the stock just to make sure that I can really cycle it and make sure it fits me really well. All right, we got three more rounds loaded up. Let's blast the steel some more. Ready? Ready. So it's actually, some of them actually just go straight. Yeah, really it nice. doesn't always jam up. Yeah, it doesn't always, but sometimes. This thing is fun. <laughs> Alright, for our first reactive target here, we have Laws, Totally Awesome, Advanced Grease Cutting Formula, o Oxy Ultra Deluxe Di Liquid Dish Detergent. That is a very long name, and there's four sentences in it, and I have no clue. Also, this is soap, and we've never shot soap before, so it'll make the table all sudsy and bubbly. And I like bubbles, because I'm an 11-year-old child, and I love bubbles. Alright, and the round we're going to be using to destroy this bottle of soap is some Federal Upland Steel Shot. This is some number six shot. And this is going to obliterate that soap bottle. It's just going to go and all bubbles. Alright. Oh, it's wet out too. Yeah. You know what? I might go swimming in the bubbles. We'll see. <laughs> Depending on how many there are. Alright, ready? Ready. I just saw a massive bubble. Cool. That was crazy. I want to go check out the damage. All right. Splattered out here. Sorry there was no slow-mo, guys. I'm not setting that up in the rain. Nope. We don't want to ruin the phone. <laughs> but it smells... Why does it smell like a pool? Like an indoor hotel pool? That's what it smells like. Plus, like, lemon or something. I don't know. But this stuff actually smells pretty good. And that is so much damage. Holy oh, yeah. Cow entrance or many many entrances and many many exits what the heck is exits is i'm in exits all right for our next target we have some chipotle ranch 
And I know a lot of you guys are going to be yelling at me, oh, it's not Chipotle, it's Chipotle. I don't care, and I know that. But I like saying Chipotle because that's kind of how it's spelled. That's actually that how, is it is how it is spe spelled. Yeah, that's <laughs> how it's spelled, Chipotle. Not Chipotle. I know you're supposed to add the accent or whatever. But this, we have never shot ranch before. I think we shot mayonnaise one time. Like at one of our friend's house. But this, and it sounds so bad. But this stuff, I don't know what this is going to do. <laughs> Alright, we got that Chipotle ranch set up over there. I know it's not Chipotle, it's Chipotle. But I, like I said, I don't care. That's how it's spelled. But we got another one of those number six steel shots loaded up. Alright, ready? Ready. Whoa. Where'd it go? <laughs> it smoked that thing. Yeah. Like, I just see white. Or yeah. like a weird tan kind of beige color just spread all over the berm. Let's go check it out. Splattered out the front here. Ew! I almost stepped in it with my flower boots. My brand new flower boots. Okay. This stuff is disgusting. I got, and I'm trying to go around it. Those number sixes sure work good. Yeah. There's just a splat. Kind of wow. looks like diarrhea. Wow. Yeah. Look at this. I was not expecting that much damage. No. And also this, with the mix of rain and soap, smells absolutely disgusting. Yeah. But entrance, and I actually don't even wow. know which way is front or back. That is crazy. Holy cow. All right, for one of our last targets here, we have beans. These are Clover Valley brown sugar baked beans. I don't think we've ever shot baked beans. We've shot pinto beans, but not baked beans. Also, who the heck puts brown sugar on beans? They're already disgusting to begin with, except for chickpeas. I make these delicious chickpea burgers, and they are the best thing in the world. All right. Well, I don't know what this is going to do. Why am I holding it upside down? I don't know what this is going to do, so let's blast it. All right, we're going to be blasting those brown sugar baked beans with a Winchester Super X 20 gauge, three quarter ounce slug. All right, let's blast these beans. Oh, I just made something. Let's blast these beans. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that from now on. We're going to have more bean targets now. <laughs> All right, ready? Ready. Whoa. The beans went everywhere. <laughs> also, I saw a little like flower hat. You know, the can. for being 20 gauge, it doesn't seem to have any less power than 12 gauge. No. Nope. I mean, it's hitting less just recoil. As, yeah. yeah. Wow. Less recoil. But probably the same amount of power. Hitting just as hard. Yeah, this thing's fun. <laughs> okay, so the bean can actually went behind the berm. You can see all the other trash back here. All right. Look at these beans. <laughs> Whoa. This is, that's actually how it would be sitting. It's Holy. totally clean. It, it is clean, except for some bean juice. All right, we got five two liters here. And these are all very much off-brand, and we're going to try and catch one of those slugs. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Also, it's absolutely pouring rain currently. So we have two, orange, and we have um, one, root beer, one, cola, and one, maton explosion. Okay, now let's get under the canopy, because I'm going to be soaked after this. All right, we got those five two liters set up over there, and we got another one of these Winchester Super X slugs loaded up. All right, let's try to catch this. Ready? Ready. We may have had luck yet. Wow. I don't know. Oh, it might have curved out though. It might may have. have. That didn't get hit. Yeah, and that was. Probably the second one. Yeah. All right. Let's go check this out. <laughs> I'm trying to get CPR on it, but it's still alive. Okay. It hasn't passed out. All right. So it went like that. Then, yes, the roots here. 
for a second. Yeah, I think it curved out. It must have. Dang. Yeah. Well, I... let's let's hit these other three and see what happens. All right. All right, we got those surviving three two-liter set up over there. And we got another one of those slugs loaded up. All right, let's try and catch this one. And hopefully it doesn't curve out. You ready? Ready. Oh, yeah. I think we got it that time. Nice. All right, so orange right here. I'm, my brain is thinking that we actually caught this. We may not have, though. But orange is right here, and the mountain explosion was in the very back, which is a knockoff brand of mountain lightning. But, I, I mean, I'm assuming maybe mountain lightning is a knockoff brand of that. I have no clue. But the cola, oh, wait, no. Oh, that's the orange. Oh, it's over here. Oh, that's an old Dr. Thunder. That is an old Dr. Thunder. I saw a two liter fly over here, though. Is this? Oh, yeah, it's this. Yeah, I don't think we caught it. Look at that damage, though. Yeah, that is crazy. We still got a surviving mountain, uh, mountain explosion. I, I was about to say mountain lightning. <laughs> All right, I'm going to try this thing out. We got one more of those slugs and that last surviving two liter, the mountain explosion. Let's make it explode. All right. <laughs> Holy cow. It looks like one of those mushroom cloud things. Yeah. I have retrieved the two liter, and it is upside down for one. But holy cow, literally whole, whole. That's crazy. All right, well, I am already soaked, so I don't really want to go out from under the canopy. So we're just going to do the outro right here, if that's okay with all of you. I mean, it, do it doesn't really matter because we're going to post the video, and that's going to be whatever. But that Pug 20 gauge is so much fun, and it is exactly what I was expecting. I mean, I was expecting it to be more stiff, but that's because that is a flea market find and it is just very smooth and I absolutely love it. So please let us know in the comment section down below what you think we should blast with that gun again because it made everything explode. Also, we compared it to the length of all of our other guns. It is one of our tallest, actually probably our tallest is, gun. Yeah. yeah which is absolutely insane because we have massive guns. But I hope you guys had a lot of fun watching this video just like we had a lot of fun making it. So thanks for watching on Zombie and we'll see you next time.